So you've set up your Bamboo Lab P1S and you're looking to print your first print. So there's an easy way to quick print something right on your 3D printer without having to set up the full software known as Bamboo Studio. So I'm quickly gonna show you how to 3D print something on your P1S as soon as possible so you can see it work because there's a couple of files in your 3D printer on the SD card. And then after that, I'm gonna give you a full tutorial on how to set up Bamboo Studio and how to use it to 3D print other stuff down the road. And from here on out, you're gonna be using Bamboo Studio to do all of these prints because that's pretty much the best way to do it. All right, so here is your printer right here, the Bamboo Lab P1S or P1P. They're basically essentially the same printers. All we have to do is go on over here to the controller. Make sure your printer is turned on. There's a big on switch in the corner over here. So back to the controller here, what we need to do here, see this scroller, that's where we're at right now. What we need to do here is get down to this SD card or the file icon right there. So scroll down a couple, it's the fourth one down. And then you can see these, these are STL files and things you can print. And if these aren't showing up, maybe take out your little SD card, take it out, put it back in and turn it off and back on. But if you can just scroll over to the right here, what we can do here is just click on each of these. This one's a vase, this one's a screw, this one's a Spartan. There's a turtle in here. I think the turtle, the squishy turtle is really cool. If you're looking to do a first print, then just and then click on print and then that will print the file. Some advice to you, use some isopropyl alcohol. I use this stuff at 70% iso alcohol and then clean the plate with a paper towel just to degrease it. I do this in between every single print and you should probably do the same as well. It helps with adhesion issues with the 3D print plastic sticking to it. So that's how you can quickly 3D print something on your Bamboo Lab P1S P1P. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to set up Bamboo Studio, which is essentially the slicer software that you're gonna to need to know moving forward on how you can print stuff. And by the way, you can also download Bamboo Studio on your phone and quickly just directly print things from your app on the phone. But you're gonna realize that a lot of the settings on there are multicolor prints and you have, and you kind of gotta customize that in Bamboo Studio. So hopefully that helps you. Just giving you guys some friendly advice and make sure not to forget to subscribe, guys. All right, let's move forward. All right, guys, so the first step to using Bamboo Studio, which is Bamboo Lab, Bamboo Lab Slicer, is to download the app. And this is what it should look like on your computer right here. All you do is click in, set up your printer. It's gonna walk you through connecting your printer to the Wi-Fi and it works really slick because once you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can send prints in between your printer and this software or the app really easily. So once you open Bamboo Studio, this is what it looks like. And what you can do here is you can either start a new project from raw, if you click on new project right here, or you can open an existing project. Chances are, I'm guessing you're pretty new to this and you're, you're uh, looking for things to print, you don't have other projects. And also, if you wanna go on their marketplace, uh, Bamboo Studios, all you have to do is click on this over here in the right hand corner, it says more. This is kind of like their, their marketplace for finding prints. It's also known as makerworld.com. What's really cool about Maker World is I have found that these prints are designed for bamboo printers specifically. So like they're gonna print very well, high quality stuff and it's um, it works great. So what you can do is start by searching for something here. Let's just search for a Pokemon. We've been printing a lot of those. My daughter absolutely loves them. Let's do a Pikachu. And what you have to do here is click through the prints and find the one you want here. And all you have to do here is what you can do, once you choose it here, you can choose single color. Uh, you know, if you have a single color printer, this is obviously what you want to go with. But if you have like a, uh, a an AMS, then you can choose the other stuff here. It says multicolor AMS. Um, let's just do a single color because I feel like that'll be a little easier um, and then just click here download or print um, You can click to open it in the bamboo studio directly So it will just automatically load or you can download the STL file I tend to just open it right in that bamboo studio because it's really easy just import into studio Open bamboo studio. There's a bunch of notifications or alerts to, to walk you through this and then it's gonna automatically load in ba into bamboo studio you may find that Bamboo Studio kind of like will lag down your computer a little bit depending on the quality of your computer, right? So this is gonna take a minute here and it's automatically generating the file, pulling the STL file into here. And if you're not aware yet, STL files are kind of like the main file type that you use with Bamboo stuff. 
So this is the Pikachu right here, and all you have to do is you can scroll with your mouse to get in closer, then scroll down. You can also use the up and down keys. Um, you can click left click and then drag and get a three-dimensional view of it which is pretty cool so uh what i first usually start with like say if i'm going to print the pikachu here uh you usually start over here on the left hand tab so first start by making sure you have the correct printer i have a p1s connected here and the plate type make sure you have your plate i have a textured uh pei plate which came with the p1s and then you want to choose your filament if you have just generic pla if you have matte um, silk, you can choose that. Uh, general PLA, usually you just want to get like the type of filament. Uh, you don't have to get like super technical with it. And then um, what's cool about bamboo is you just kind of like just go for it. You know what I mean? So the one thing you have to worry about though is what is known as supports. So some of these prints are going to need supports. And what supports are, if you go to this tab right here, it says supports. It's the fourth one over. And if we click this box here, there's two different supports. So there's the normal and then there's the tree support. I advise that you do the auto feature and let the, the slicer here, Bamboo Studio, kind of like do its thing. Because if you're going to manually do it, if you're new to this, that's not what you want to be doing. Uh, so just click on normal and I'll show you the differences here. Um, so this prepare tab is everything you want to, this is all of the editing side. So if you're editing, this is what you want to be on. But this next tab known as the preview tab, this is where the, the, the slicer kind of gets everything ready to be sent to the printer. So then I'm doing this to show you the next stage because it's going to show us the supports. See how it builds in these supports. And essentially what a support is, it's just like a, it, it's what it, what you think it is. It's just a support to hold up like areas within the print. So this is what the the normal support looks like. It's kind of more of a blocky substance and it just prints it. So if I want to change the support, I got to go back to the prepare tab because I'm editing, right? And then let's click on the tree support and then preview again. And I'm just doing this to show you the example of like the differences. You're going to have to play around with this. Um, and again, on this preview tab it's really cool because it shows you like all these features you know like the infill the bridging the surfaces stuff if you're a beginner this is all going to be like super foreign what i tend to look at is the estimation of total time so this print's going to be 50 minutes and 42 seconds okay so the this is what this support looks like this style is known as a tree support and this is what it looks like but if you remember if we go back to the to the maker world here of the general print it says no support and a lot of times what I tend to do is look in the comment section of your print and see if people are using uh, supports. Because a lot, a lot of time people will be like, hey, this needs supports, this type of supports. And it's kind of important to know because uh, you'll mess up a couple prints and then you'll start paying attention. That's at least what happened to me. Uh, but so yeah, we don't need support. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go back to the prepare tab and we are going to do no support. So I'm gonna uncheck this box. <clears throat> and generally, this is all I worry about, the supports. Um, you have selecting your printer, the type of filament, and then the supports, and that's essentially it. Um, what you also might want to edit is the sizing. So um, all you have to do is click on your print in the middle here. You can tell that it's highlighted. And then you choose this button up here where it says scaling. And you choose this. And what you want to do here is you want to scale it appropriately. So I tend to, when I change the scaling, I, I do this uh, percentage one because that way you, it keeps it proportional and you want that. So let's increase the size by 200% and you can tell our Pikachu is now increased. And if you want to know the exact sizing, it'll actually tell you the millimeters. So you could do like a conversion, uh, make sure you have this uniform scale checked or else it's going to get all, you want that scaling to stay, you know what I mean? So yeah, this seems to be about, um, everything I need to know about like this print maybe I want to move it that's not a huge deal where you move it but maybe if you wanted to like load multiple prints on one plate here then maybe you are going to like uh, put them in a certain spot so that they're not close to each other and yeah let's just add another print just for what and Pikachu how about that then click OK import geometry only I'm just showing you this just so you can see that you can also load multiple prints if you wanted to say if you wanted to load it up before you go to sleep and print a bunch of them that's what we tend to do and yeah so now I'll just move them like that then click on the preview tab because this preview tab kind of like is the, the slicer is doing its thing it's configuring you can see down here it's generating walls it's it's figuring out all the infill regions, the infill toolpath, as you can see here. And it may take a minute, depending on like how in-depth your print is. Um, 
But yeah, guys, this is a like a little tutorial for beginners on how to use Bamboo Lab Slicer, known as Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments if you have any further questions. Um, but yeah, the next step, uh, as you can see here, it is done generating everything, and it tells us how long this takes here on this screen. Two hours and 34 minutes. And depending on what printer you have with Bamboo, it will depend on how fast it is. And then, yeah, this is pretty much it. What we're going to do now is click up here in the right-hand corner where it says Print Plate. And then you just want to make sure you have your printer chosen and bed leveling, time-lapse. If you want the time-lapse, you can uh, click Send. We're going to send this to the printer. You'll probably hear my printer turn on, so please bear with us. This is going to take a minute here to send to the printer, depending on like how in-depth your print is. Again, this is the next screen. You'll notice that Bamboo... The studio here is it, it's moving through the tabs here. We have prepare, preview, and now we're on device. And then this is the actual the stage of the device, which is the printer, and it's downloading it. You can see here it's downloading it to the printer. And when you when you set up Bamboo Studio and connected your printer through uh, the Wi-Fi, this is how it's going to be sending everything here. What's cool here is we can we can get into the micro SD card here as well to see what's on there. And in this tab, you can see all my time lapses. Um, I've been printing a lot of cool, cool stuff. So make sure to subscribe, guys, if you also like 3D printing. Woo -woo. And then there'll be uh, some models that are also on your SD card. A lot of times your printer comes with some. So the printer is getting started. You're probably going to hear it. What's cool here is you can also click this play button right here and get a live feed of what your printer looks like. Um, which is pretty cool if you have the P1S and above. I really like this. And uh, what's also cool is you can download the app, Bamboo Studio, and you can get a live update from the camera on your phone. So guys, hopefully this video helped you learn how to use the Bamboo Lab Slicer known as Bamboo Studio. Hit me up in the comments and make sure to subscribe here. we got lots of awesome things coming. I will see you in the next one. All right, peace.